Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland Reviewer, and I'm here to review Toni Morrison, The Pieces I Am. And this documentary is about writer Toni Morrison, who has won the Nobel Prize, and this is really about, from start to finish, her career as a writer, and the impact that she has had. Because she's a black woman who is such a talented writer, and I'm an avid reader, I'm a bibliophile along with being a cinephile. I have not read any of Toni Morrison's works. Did this film make me want to go check out Beloved? Hell yeah, and I will definitely be adding that to my list to read. But I've never read anything she's written, but when they read like excerpts of her writing, it's impeccable. It's the the voice is so impactful. And even just hearing those little bit of things, like, that's talent right there. And it's something impressive. And she is somebody who represents a great, um, like, winds up being a beacon for a race of people who feel like they've been underrepresented in art, which they have. And that's very true. They have been extremely underrepresented. And... It's one of the most interesting parts of the film is when they're talking about the society of writers at that time and describing it as a pyramid, but probably more of like an obelisk, just like a straight and narrow tower, like the Washington Monument, and then it gets to like a needle at the top because there's like four white dudes sticking at the top. And that was when Toni Morrison started writing and some of her colleagues, it was really Faulkner, Hemingway, Fitzgerald, they were the artists, and everybody else were just like, Pfft. and it was an interesting time because it's like, when uh, when Baldwin I and mean James Baldwin, getting my Baldwin's mixed up. James Baldwin was such a talented artist, but never was recognized in his time. And Toni Morrison, like, comes after him, and. Like, she wasn't winning the Pulitzers and stuff like that, but, like, she gets this Nobel Prize for liter literature and such an impactful thing. And that's such a big part of this film is really showing that, but you really get a sense of her as a person. And she's a really interesting person. She's fun to watch because she's in the documentary. They interview her throughout it. And from a documentary perspective, there are parts where this feels really generic, straightforward, like, interview. Here's some still photos, interviews, still photos. But then there's some really, really, really inspired moments. And I can really credit Timothy Greenfield Sanders, who made this documentary. There's particular parts in this that really floored me. And I really appreciated, like, Toni Morrison speaking about her experiences and seeing these images of like outside her home with the dock and the water and her telling these stories and you being able to visualize it all there and those are special moments in this documentary. There's one particular moment that really hit me and I'm trying to remember exactly what it was but it was I believe talking about the experience of, oh it was talking about the experiences of European immigrants and that's what's being said. Because a big part of this is Beloved is really about slavery and from a new perspective of a woman with children. And they're talking about the experience of European immigrants coming over, but what you're seeing are slaves and drawings of them in their collars on these slave ships. And that dichotomy of what's being said and what you're seeing is so well done and impactful. I'm like, damn, that's some great filmmaking. Like, I felt that. There's parts in this film that felt dry and just felt like, here's a documentary. Felt like I was watching like something on, like National Geo, like History Channel or something like that. And it wasn't very cinematic. And I felt like it was losing me a little bit. But then there was these really inspired moments like this. She is an incredible woman. And the people that talk about her in this, and like Oprah's in it, and her experience of what really hit her, and these things, these people talking about these experiences that they have are so impactful. This film is a special film. And 
getting through some of the dry spells in it is really worth it, and this is a very special person to be watching a documentary about. And being an avid reader of mine who really appreciates literature, this is something that I thought was really special, and I'm glad that I got to experience this documentary. I'd recommend it. It's a good documentary on a great person. And there's some great moments in this that are really impactful. There's some parts where she specifically says things, and I'm like, oh, damn. Damn. And I was sitting in my seat in the theater being like, that was, that hit hard, and that was special. So go check this out. Find it. I got to see it at an AMC that has a lot more indie films. It's one of the AMC classics. But go check this out. It's really worth it. It's a great story on a great person that you get to experience. But those are my thoughts. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my videos. Comment. Let me know what you think. And thank you as always for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.